In this video, we're walking around downtown Santa Ana and I'm gonna test out two of the first third-party lenses available for Canon RF systems. I have here the Samyang slash Rokinon 14 millimeter, as well as the 85 1.4. Let's dive in. My name is Pi, welcome to SLR Lounge. So while we're waiting on our model, I might as well walk you through what we're doing here. Samyang sent us two of their lenses, and by the way, I think it's Samyang slash Rokinon, depending on where you purchase from, but they're the same thing. So I have here the Samyang 14 millimeter. This is an F 2.8 RF lens, and the 85 1.4 RF. These are two of the first third-party lenses that we have available for Canon RF. So I'm excited to kind of try them out. I wanna see how they perform in terms of autofocus. The 85 has built-in IBIS, or it supports the IBIS system in the camera. And we also have these lens coming in at a great price point, like around 700 bucks. So I'm excited to see how they perform. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna walk around, shoot images, I'll be explaining kind of what we do in each scene, so that way it's a little bit educational. I'm also gonna show you the images straight from the camera. And then for some of them, I might actually do a full edited version so you can see the final. Let's go ahead and get started. But we need a model for that. So let's wait for our model. While we are waiting for Bushra, I think we should go ahead and start with the 85. I'm kind of stoked to see what it looks like. I've got some spots in this parking lot that I think are gonna look really cool. Uh, and side note, this is the Lamborghini Urus. Uh, it's been cross-branded under Acura, in case you're wondering, but literally the exact same car. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Friends, this is Bushra. We thought it'd be fun to kind of get you all dressed up in traditional Indian attire and do some shots. We haven't done this for, and we do this for like our wedding clients a lot, but I'm yeah. like, I wanna so do this. You get to actually have a, no. a dancer or a yeah. model. <laughs> Let's actually play. Let's have fun with this. So as you will notice right now, we are incredibly backlit. And if I were to take a shot right here, it's probably not gonna look that great. I mean, Busher looks great, but the photograph is not. So let me go, <laughs> is that offensive? I hope not. Definitely not. <laughs> Okay, so we get this like kind of crazy backlit look, right? But what I'm noticing in this scene, I just hit my Lamborghini, I'm, I'm sorry about that. What I notice in this scene is this, this opening right here, if we actually face her towards that light and I kind of shoot top down, we might be able to get to a really nice look, one that's gonna especially accentuate kind of the eyes as well as her henna, everything. I'm also thinking I might be able to use this yellow as the background that kind of frames her face. So let's try it. I'm gonna go around. Busha, you're gonna stay right here, okay? We're on the 85 right now. So let's go ahead and get exposure. I wanna run this up a little bit. Let's go to 400, uh, 1 400 of a second. Let's go ahead and bring our ISO up a little bit as well. So for ISO, let's go up to 200 ISO and check the histogram. I'm gonna go a tiny bit brighter. Okay, so 1 320th F1.4 and ISO 200. And then Bushra, once I get a shot, you're just gonna move a little bit, okay? So feel free to move as you go. Bring the left hand up a little. Sorry, right hand, <laughs> left hand down. There, right there. I love it. And move a little bit with the hands. Right there, hold that. Okay, so as you can see, we are still in the parking lot. That spot was where we were just a second ago. I noticed these rails right next to this white building earlier, and I think it'd make for a great spot for a couple different reasons. Number one, the rails, well, Bushra, doesn't that color look very similar to the dress? It does, it's a good balance. Okay, so we have this like nice little background with the rails as the same color as the dress, or at least close, where we can do a little finagling and post and kind of get them to look nice and harmonious. The other thing is the white building is catching direct sunlight. So if I push Bushra back just to like that middle spot right there, and Bushra, if you look towards us, you're gonna see that she basically gets completely lit up, right? So we have this natural reflector that's essentially adding this nice little flash right into her. Uh, well, it would be, you know, it's a natural flash. Uh, Bushra, come forward a little bit. Okay, right there. Now your main light, Bushra, is this wall. So I want you to kind of keep the chin angled towards this wall as you move. I think it'll be fun to kind of use the 85 now I wanna test the autofocus. So I'm actually gonna keep this on servo and I'm gonna move backwards and forwards. And with each click, I'm just gonna show you guys the image and we're gonna see if it kinda of keeps up. So let's go ahead and 
find a little spot. Now for my frame, let me take a shot to show you the frame. I'm gonna go for one four thousandth of a second. We're gonna leave the uh, exposure a bit on the bright side. Actually, we can retain all of our information at one eight thousandth F 1.4 and ISO 100. So we're gonna go right there. I'm gonna frame the shot so that the rails kind of drop right back into her head. So we have these nice leany lines in the image. So this is gonna be the shot. And now Bushra is just gonna move and I'm gonna move along with her. That's gorgeous. Can you give me a couple twirls, Bushra? Okay, so I love this angle from right here and we're getting some really cool stuff. Up higher, we kind of frame her head against the buildings and background is a bit darker. So we see a little more of the hair light. The other thing I wanna do is get down low. So I'm gonna get down low and shoot and leave her against the sky. And I'm gonna choose which one I like more later. So I like getting low for this shot because one shot is gonna be more emphasized on the hair light. The other shot's gonna be just looking cleaner. So this one's gonna be a little bit cleaner in terms of the background. Bushra, let's go ahead and start moving again. So I gotta say, I am more than a little impressed that we're getting that speed of autofocus on not only an 85 millimeter lens, but a pretty affordable 85 millimeter lens. That was awesome. Great for action. You killed it. Killed it. You know what? It's all right. <laughs> Turkey's good too. Okay, so if you're getting an 85, you like depth. I mean, let's just be honest. It's one of the big reasons you get an 85 prime. So Bushra, I got an idea for a shot. This may or may not turn out. Let's just give it a go, okay? I wanna try and frame Bushra using the front of a car so we can kind of see the, the way that this renders foreground bokeh to background bokeh, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, Bushra, I'm gonna have you sit like right here on the concrete and yeah, I'm just gonna dive right behind this car right here. So let's get down low. First, let's talk exposure. So we're gonna go to, let's go 1 400th F 1.4 and ISO 400. Let's just take a look at that. Yeah, that gives me a good, nice balance. Now what I wanna do is kind of frame Bushra. So there's a nice bright spot of highlight in the background. Let me show you exactly what I'm seeing from my camera. So you'll notice that, see right above her is that background highlight, right in front is this car, right? So what I wanna do is kind of frame, so you can't really tell that this is a car on this side. And then we get Bushra to kind of be right over that bright area of the background. So Bushra, you're gonna scoot a little bit to your right. Right there, yep. Right there, okay. Now let's go ahead and get you in the right position. I want you to lean a little bit this way. Yep, just like that. Now, you're gonna bring the hands. Let's see, yeah, let's put the right hands. Yes, 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 yes. Right there. Dude, that's sick. Do that again, but leave the chin going this way a little bit. Okay, peek through, find the camera right there, hold. One more. Okay, I actually wanna see how the bokeh renders also like against kind of something more traditional. I wanna see it against like trees. So let's go find some nice depth against some trees that we can shoot. Okay, we were right there, right here. We get some great music and there's a nice little tree here that's visible through this window. So let's start Bushra and just see what we get by placing you leaning against this. And let me just take a look at the light. Okay, so I want you guys to see this because I could balance this for the background. So if I keep lowering my exposure to like 1 2 50th, I can kind of get her face kind of bright, but it doesn't look great, right? And if I darken it so that the background leaves are not blown out, then we get her face all in the shadows. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm noticing against this wall, we do have a bit of a reflection and you'll see it when uh, Mike comes around to the other side. So what we're gonna do, Bushra, is I'm gonna move you towards this side and I want you guys to see how the light transforms on her face. If I get her right here, I can make this my light on her face and I can probably also get a bit of a hair light in there too. So yes, Bushra, that looks fantastic. Now we can adjust and balance that light better. Now Bushra, go chin down a little bit. I'm gonna adjust my white balance. 
So I'm gonna take the Kelvin down to around, we'll go 4,200. It's gonna be a bit on the green side. So what I might do as well is just do a little bit of uh, white balance shifting. So let's pull the white balance shift well into the magentas. I'm gonna go like A5, A6 and see where we're at here. This is gonna be a little more of a close up shot showing us kind of background depth. And then we'll do something that's a little bit further back. Yes, chin down right there. I love that. Okay, I want you guys to see the difference in this. Bushra, if you're just to scoot down a little bit, I'm gonna use the exact same exposure so you guys can see. She's only like three feet from where we just were, right? Maybe you'd move a tiny bit more. Dude, take another big step that way. Right there. Okay. Exact same exposure and everything, and look at the difference of the light on our face. It's huge. So now, Busher, come back to this spot, and let me see if I can't find another angle on this. Go right into the camera. Beautiful. All right, so I switched to the 14. I'll be honest, I'm more than a little impressed with what that lens can do, especially at its price point. Did you like the shots so far? I mean, they were amazing shots. <laughs> Looks really I've never good. Never looked better. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and see what we can find with the wide angle. Let's go do it. We're gonna see how far we can go before we get kicked out here, but. This row of palm trees looks incredible. I wanna place her right here with the sun behind her and then have her do the same motion. We're gonna use this wide angle lens to exaggerate all of it. Let's shoot as fast as we can, Mike. Ready and action. Perfect, switch up the motion. Okay, what you're gonna do is I want you to look this way and let the dress flow behind you. Can you go kind of like on your tippy toes and kind of throw the dress back? Yeah. Yes, and kind of let go of it. So it kind of flows behind. So let go and let the arms kind of drop back as you kind of come up to the tippy toes. What if you were to kick across the lens? Like if you were to actually move the foot across? Yes. Ready? Action. Dude, that's so sick. Okay, we got really cool shots with some motion in this background. I love the close-up ones. I love the ones a little bit further back where she's just kind of framed against the open spot of the sky. That's the little idea. We're gonna play around with a bit of a, a foreground effect. So this go around, let's have Bushra sit down and kind of open up the dress. And I want you to almost interact with the camera a little bit, showing off the henna. So, okay, so Bushra, you're kind of gonna just look down to the ground on that side. Yep, and then lean forward a little bit. Uh, sorry, lean this way. Yep, there you go. And now I'm gonna frame her face kind of right against the brighter spot of the sky. And now what I want is for you to reach out with your right hand towards the lens, open palm. I'm gonna position your hand a little bit right there. But you're not gonna look towards me, okay? You can open the fingers just a little bit. I'm trying to get that sun right between the fingers. Where is it? There it is. That's dope. Check this out. Oh my gosh, did you see my hand? It's so cool. Isn't it cool? That's gonna be a fun one. I like this lens. This is fun. <laughs> okay, so right around the same building, check this out. Look at this side right here. We get this crazy cool reflection. It almost looks like a, a lightning bolt that's kind of striking this spot. And actually, it's coming from that building right there. So. Mike can not only see this, but Mike, if you actually come around right here, you can see exactly where it's reflecting from on that side. So what I wanna do is actually use the wide angle lens. Now that you guys see it, there it is. Okay, so I wanna use this 14 mil, and I want you guys to look at the back of my camera. So come forward towards me, Mike, because I'm gonna actually place her into that light and use it as a leading line. But the thing is, I don't wanna go with like a really bright exposure like this. I actually wanna darken the exposure and this scene will let us see the distortion on the lens quite nicely. So we're gonna keep darkening down until that line just like kind of appears over everything. So we're gonna go to one, let's go to ISO 100 and let's just look at where the highlight is. So the highlight's a little bit dark at this point so I'm gonna go to 200 ISO just to preserve as much dynamic range as I can. We're gonna to go to one one thousandth of a second as long as uh, the highlights aren't blown. 
And now, Busher, you're gonna stand into the light right there. Okay, in fact, Busher, scoot this way. Okay, a little bit more. And what if you did that angel jump looking this way? So turn, yeah. Uh, let's bring the shoes towards me so we get them out. Yep, right there. Okay, ready? Three, two, action. Oh, that's so cool. Three, two, one, action. Got it. That's cool. All right, we got a lot of fun stuff with both these lenses. Honestly, I'm really impressed with what these lenses can do. Designed for the RF system, they're quite affordable. You guys can get professional looking images out of them as you guys see here. So, well, you guys decide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, be sure to follow Bushra. Bushra, what's your Instagram? It's beconf at beconfident. In the meantime, you guys can check out all the equipment that we use in the description of the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya. We gotta do more dance stuff. That was really cool. I know, I like we it. do.